every second of every day around the world, time is ticking. Ticking in clocks, wall clocks, grandfather clocks, cuckoo clocks, and watches. I'm here at the Clock and Watch Shop on Gravier Street in the Central Business District where the Hertzinger family is offering the gift of time and they're doing it in a really big way. So let's go inside because you won't believe what you see or what you hear. As you enter the shop, you see and hear hundreds of clocks ticking and chiming in a rhythm that is both peaceful and music to the ears. But behind the mechanics of that ticking is the master clockmaker who keeps them running no matter how old or how new. I'm joined by Joseph Hertzinger, the owner of the shop and the master clock and watchmaker. Joseph, you have an incredible display of time here in this beautiful shop. Where did this all begin? Well, thank you, Mary. And uh, it all began uh, the watch and clocks of this existing since 1958. But I am coming from Austria and uh, I was going through a seven year trade school and um, made a master's degree in the end. And you learn how to make watches clocks, pocket watches. Well, it takes years of study. I see a lot of awards here on the wall. Yes, yes. Uh, here you see my master's degree. Here is a certificate from Switzerland where we get um, always uh, updated uh, certificates for the newest watches and clocks that are out there. Well, why don't we take a look around? You have some fabulous pieces. Your collection of time includes clocks dating back to the 1600s, and I'm holding one right here. It's called a water clock. The Egyptians actually invented this, but I understand it's from Holland. Yeah, this one is from Holland. Uh, it's from the 1600s, and uh, you can see it's a one-handed one. And when the, you fill it up with water, and then the water slowly rinse out here in, the, in this little uh, hole. And uh, when it goes down, that will tell you the time. So interesting, this belongs in Smithsonian. Now behind us here, you have a collection of pocket watches dating back to the 1600s, uh -huh. I believe. Um, this one is one of uh, French uh, pocket watch, uh, Crivon Crisset, um, something very, very beautiful. You can see all the intricate work in here. Um, of course, we love to work on something like that. And uh, this one actually is for sale here. Uh, you see all the enamel work, you set it by the front here, with a key and also the hand gets set. A lot of intricate details. Oh my gosh, yeah. They put a lot of love in there in this time. Joseph, another interesting piece are your mahogany clocks and they don't make those mahogany anymore. Let's go back and take a look. Now Mary, here we have a very, very beautiful mahogany English grandfather clock. It's out of the 1800s, early 1800s. Um, of course, we make also house calls. We visit you in your house. Uh, if you have uh, something, uh, grandfather clock, uh, large wall clocks, uh, we visit you. And we can uh, repair it in your house or the, we bring it in for service. Um, if you look here, we have an Atmos clock. They was invented in 1920 by Mr. Reuter. They are now produced by the Czechle Culture Company in Switzerland. Uh, they have a bellows in the back. Originally it was a mercury bellow, now it's uh, a gas bellow. What uh, expands and retracts uh, by, um, from atmospheric uh, pressure difference, and that's how the clock winds up. There's a chain connected to the bellow and it will wind then the mainspring in there, and so it can then run forever without winding. Joseph, one of my favorite pieces in the whole store is this colonial clock. Now this dates back to... The early 1900s. Uh, that's very, very beautiful and uh, it has a cathedral sound and the chime. You will hear it right now. That was the Westminster chime. Mm -hmm. So beautiful, so beautiful. Now let's take a look at the music box clock on the table. I think it dates back to the 1600s and what's interesting about that is that there are very few people in the country that fix the music box timepieces anymore. So let's go take a look. Joseph, this music box dates back to the 1600s, correct? Yes, it uh, dates back to the 1600s. It's a very old musical uh, uh, music box. You see here the calm, you wind it with this crank. Uh, we do rest, uh, uh, restore them, you know, you cannot buy any parts anymore, so now you have to make the pieces by hand. And of course it's very lovely, it plays, uh, this one plays uh, all the songs from Beethoven. You know, one thing that's great about your talent is that you can take old pieces as well as new pieces, that you can find pieces or make pieces, and that's the gift of your art that many people do not do anymore today. 
Yes, and that's actually um, why we love it so much and why we have so much passion to it, because it gives us a challenge. You certainly keep time ticking. Yeah. Let's go see how you do what you do. Okay. Well, Mary, here, this is uh, one of uh, my benches here where I work on it. You saw in the lathe here, we do uh, make the parts. Uh, we have to polish the pivots. We have to replace the pivots. Uh, we, sometimes the gears are broken, so we, we make them new. Here you have a very, very old uh, French uh, mental clock movement. Uh, this one goes back uh, uh, 300 years. Uh, it's a very, very beautiful clock. You can see it also in the pendulum. Look at that. And has a double bell. Uh, this one we have to restore. And also we do a, a lot of the pocket watches here, what you can see. Um, and of course we have a tremendous amount of parts here. Uh, this is for the old pocket watches, the springs, uh, to open them. Um, uh, also in here we have uh, crystals um, for watches. We have probably more than 30,000 uh, watch crystals here in stock. Also the old ones, the glass crystals, the fancy ones. So if you have a really old watch, we have still the original crystals. One of the things I love about the shop are the specialty machines such as the waterproof machine that nobody else has. It's a waterproof machine, uh, so uh, it's uh, the Roxa machine from Switzerland. Um, you can test watches up to 5,000 foot under water. Um, you take the watch, you put it in water here in the tank. It's like deep sea. If you have one of these new Rolexes, uh, Omegas, uh, Panerais, they go down to 1,000 meter. Then we close it, you see the water is coming out, that they get closed and tightened up, and then we put some brush on it. I would love to have something engraved before I leave. I understand you have a fabulous engraving machine that engraves anything from glass to leather. Let's go take a look. Well, Mary, uh, let me introduce you to my beautiful wife, Judith. Uh, she is also working here in the shop, and uh, we would like to show you also the engraving machine that we have. Uh, it's one of the largest machines existing in the world um, and also one of the most modern and sophisticated ones. We can engrave for you on glass and wood, anything really, plastic, uh, leather. Uh, it does also gold embossing. You, have, you want your own uh, signature on there, we can do it. You have a logo, we can put it on it. Um, there is actually no limit to it. Uh, if it's curved, round, uh, practically only the sky is the limit. Well Mary, now you are here and uh, my other watchmaker bench uh, where we do all the modern watches, also pocket watches. Uh, uh, we have a, a very sophisticated uh, Swiss uh, timing machine here where we can uh, really fine tune your fine time base. The other thing what I would really like to show you is our newest creation. It's our own watch brand, it's Joseph & Joseph. Uh, it's a tourbillon watch. Um, and after that, we will go married to the Coco Clocks. Well, Joseph and Judith, thank you so much for the gift of your time and sharing with us the world of time. And you, Joseph, and the Watch & Clock Shop are truly real New Orleans. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.